Hey everyone, The Pink Mac here, and I'm really excited because I've got a little unboxing for you. I know I haven't had one in a while, but today my Vaha case came in. So this is really exciting because I've been waiting for it for like, what, like a month? So um, I'm going to switch over to the other camera, I think, and do a little unboxing. So, um... I'm gonna switch now and here we go. Okay, so as you can see, um, this Vaha case has uh, the new evolution for my Blackberry tour. So let's unbox this baby and take a look. Um, if you checked my blog, you know that I ordered the Claret red color on the outside and black on the inside. And um, I was really worried because I was afraid it's going to be too red. So let's take a look and we can evaluate the color. Ah, there it is. It's so pretty. Ooh. Okay, so here's the case. It's actually really pink. So I don't know if you can see it in my lighting. It's not like excellent lighting. I'll have to take some pictures, but this is pink-ish. Um, I don't really know how to describe this. It's not like a hot, hot pink. It's more like a magenta or a ruby pink. And there's the inside is black. I wanted the inside to be a dark color just in case, you know, it got scratched or anything with putting the phone in and out. But the outside I wanted to be a bright color. So let's actually, let's put that aside for a second and take my... Blackberry out of its silicone. So now this is like hot pink, if you want to compare. So this actually kind of shows like a little bit more purple, I think. And then this is more to like a reddish pink, like kind of like a rose color, but I'm not really a good fan of rose, but I am a fan of this color. I think it actually came out really awesome. And remember these Vaha cases, they take like a month to make and they're especially custom for your device so you pick which device you have so you can see I'm just gonna slide this guy in there there he is oh I hit the standby mode <laughs> when I pushed it in but there it is and there's an opening for the camera and to plug it in there's my volume rocker and then the headphone jack and then on this side the speaker and the other key are exposed and then this just covers up and it clips over and it's shut and it's got that opening for the camera. There's also something really cool about this case. Blackberries apparently have behind this, did you see that? Let's see. When I put this on it, it turned, you can't see it anymore, the light, it turns off the screen but then when I open it, the screen goes back on. Did you see that? Let's try it one more time. Screen turns on. Now that's because, I, let's see if we can get a good angle on this, there should be a bump down here. That's actually a magnet that once, whenever you put a magnet up to apparently right here behind this keyboard, it turns the screen off and apparently that feature will save me battery. So that's really neat. Um, a lot of the BlackBerry cases apparently have that, but it's really great that the Vaha case has it too. That's pretty awesome, and there's a little Vaha logo. I think it's pretty cute. Another thing I really love about these Vaha cases is the way they open and shut. I like how this protective flap falls forward. Some people, I think, think that's a little bit annoying because when you're talking, you're putting your, your ear right here and, you know, you're talking and then this flaps there. But I think that's better than, like, let's say it's upside down and you're just flipping this over. I mean, I guess that's more traditional, but I really like the way this is really, it just is unique. I think that's just so unique, the way that it flips down. And I just think, I don't know, it's just something about it. I just prefer it that way now that I've seen the Vaha cases. It's a little bit different than the Vaha case that I have for my iPod Touch because my iPod Touch's case does, you know, open this way as opposed to this one which falls down. Um, another thing, like I said, that I like is the way it closes. These don't have magnets. 
uh, that took for their closure. They don't have anything to snap on. They don't have Velcro. It is basically just this hard piece of leather that's fitted to go around and just pop over and that stays closed. Now a lot of people that I've seen who talk about Vaha cases always question whether or not this flap is going to get soft and then it won't stay on. Well, my iPod Touch case that I have, that's never happened to it. And actually, let me turn the video off and I'll pull my iPod Touch case in here so we can do a nice comparison. Okay, so as you can see, I just pulled out my gray Vaha case for my iPod Touch first generation. Um, and I wanted to show you two things. This opens, as you can see from the top, whereas this one uh, opens from the bottom to flip over the top, and then this one opens from the top and flips at the bottom. So it's just a style difference, and I just prefer this. I think that this is actually, it's just so unique. I said this already, um, and I'll drop the point, but that's, you know, one difference that I want to show you. The second reason I pulled out this iPod Touch is to show you that this little nub, right, that closes, it's hard. It doesn't bend. I haven't had any problems with it. I know some people out there on the internet question whether or not that is going to stay firm. And if it didn't stay firm, maybe if it started bending, you wouldn't be able to keep it on. This is still just as hard to snap on as it was the day that I received it. Same thing with this one, I'm going to assume. It's hard. It's not, there's something under there form fitting that the leather is wrapped around. I'm thinking it's probably like a plastic, a, a really hard plastic that is the outside of this, like, you know, inside of the casing, and then they wrap it, the outside with leather. But there's something in there, unless, you know, maybe if I broke it, I don't know if maybe I could possibly snap it. I'm not going to try, but it, I don't think it's ever going to cause a problem and it just snaps right over it. I just love that because it's just so unique and you're not using some other form of the closure that every every other form of closure I feel like has some issue and this one I think is just so unique and just so uh, there's just nothing that could go wrong with that other than maybe if it broke and so that is the new Vaha Evolution case I believe it's called Evolution. If it's not, I'll put the correct name up. But there it is. It's pink. Uh, technically, the color is Claret Red. So if you want to get something from the Vaha collection, this is what Claret Red looks like. Oh, I should give you a disclaimer, though. Vaha, and I think they say this on their site, since they tan the leather per order, no two colors Real, no two products, no two colors of their leather ever come out the same twice, I guess. Like, if I got another exact one of these, it would be a slightly different shade. Because they tan those and they go in batches, and just like clothing, when clothing is dyed, it doesn't always come out the exact same way twice. And I would assume with leather, it's even more difficult to get it to be uniform, so... That's kind of just another, like I keep saying unique, and I feel lame for saying it, but it's just another thing that makes these cases so unique. And I know they've got a really hefty price tag. This one was $75, I think. But to me, they're worth it. This case is the really the only case I've ever used for this product. And I'm hoping this case is the only one I'll ever need for my BlackBerry. They offer excellent protection. They're just a great design. There's useful features of that magnet in this BlackBerry case, but just so simple and so, they're just an amazing, it's a, like a piece of art to me pretty much. And I really don't think you can get cases that are better for your products than these Vaha cases. So, and I know there's a lot of people out there that feel the same way. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching this unboxing and quick review of my Vaha case for my BlackBerry tour.